Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, as promised, we already did episode one. We back with episode two, Bel Air. It's Keep Your Head Up, baby. It's yeah, getting man. good. So this, yeah, is getting after, good. this is after the punch that knocked <laughs> called his A out. I was all the way here for it. So let's go ahead and run it real quick. Let's run it. Yeah, like we said in the last episode, man, yeah. Will punch the skit out of Carlton. <laughs> Like he should have. He should have. So when they got when they got back home, Carlton is still pissed. Auntie Viv is gone at will for hitting Carlton. But in the middle of the feud, Lisa's name come up. And so she realizes, she realizes what exactly what's going on with the whole situation that Carlton is pissed off because of Lisa. So we flip over there. <laughs> Because Auntie Viv don't did her part with the boys and whatnot. So yeah. now we got Uncle Phil and Auntie Viv talking about, okay, what's the aftermath of this fight? Because I know Connor's family is not fit to just let yeah. this go. So Phil was like, listen, they trying to make me invest in and their head yeah. So she was like, what was the political correct way of you to telling them to go to fuck the hell? Yeah. So he was like, basically, I reminded them that they had yeah. a whole party with underage uh, drinking going yeah, on around right yeah. there. So... The problem we have is solved, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, good one. Yeah. Good one. Yes, sir. Good one. So, now, the conversation switched, and now they're talking about sending Will back. Because it was like, ever since Will done got here for the it's last... It's been a lot of fights. Yeah, it's been, you know, uh, him and Colton done got into it. Him and Connor done got into it. You know, he's causing more problems. He's trying than... to cause me money on yeah. these streets. And on... On 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 Viv is like no, yeah on Viv was like you know we knew bringing him was going to be a, a, a big adjustment yeah, for big, all of us yeah so we need to give him an opportunity but we're gonna go and talk to him and if he don't say what me and you like he's got to go. he's he got to go so they go to talk to Will and Will turned around and he's bawling his eyes out because he just found out from his mom that Trey got shot. So they already know that there's no way in the hell out of good conscience they could send that boy back. Yeah. Because this gangster that's after them is really for real about trying to kill them. Yeah. Because in episode one, we actually thought Trey was going to be mad at Will because Will was getting ready to go back to Philly to help him out because Mama, he had talked to Trey and Trey was like, you know, what's he call it? Uh, what's his name? Rashad. Rashad is looking for us, bro. And... You know, you need to come back here and get this straight so we can clear up. The first and, of all, he yeah. was like, where the hell are you? Yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm in bed. He said, stop, Kevin. <laughs> he was like, no, for real. That's some that's some gangster stuff. Like yeah, end up, yeah, end up in Philly, like from Philly to L.A. And yeah. that's for 24 hours. So we thought Trey was going to be mad about that. So now that Trey is shot, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's Trey wasn't mad. mad then that he, he couldn't make it now. but now he done got shot so we think trey was going to be mad so of course we know that right there alone changed everything uh, changed everything so now so since hillary has you know we find out that she is a cook cooking influencer she has her meeting with okazine that her mom set up which which her which Auntie Vivian was getting on my nerves. Like everything that that Hillary would do, she was she was like, her. "You need to do that a little bit upscale." But like that ain't what she was trying to do. That ain't how she cook. She cooking for you know everyday people. Like she said, they don't need no Dutch Dumb oven, and all, you know, yeah, stuff that we don't know nothing about. We just we want to just try to kick it up a notch. Yeah, we want to cook simple stuff that's easy. One, two, three, done. That's the kind of stuff that she wants to cook. So she has her she has her meeting with them. Food looked excellent. That poor boy sandwich looked good. It I did. was like, I, was I like, didn't know Please. she was gonna go. She should have did a little crab cakes or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So they was like, your food is excellent, but we need to give you a few rules that we need you to follow. If we're gonna, if we're gonna work up. with you. I said, oh okay. yeah. And the first thing they attacked was her wardrobe. I was like, nah, you don't attack no bit black more chicks. Muted. Yeah, because yeah, when y'all queens, man, when y'all y'all outfits are everything. That's that's what you that's gotta what we have. Are. Yeah, that's what you got. So we need to tone it down with more neutral colors. That's it. Oh, so you yeah. want to yeah. wash her out. Say so we want the food <clears throat> to speak. And then old yeah. boy going to talk about something. And the spice was a little to, elevated yeah. for my liking. So we need to can, tone it down. And she was like, but my family, family was just complimenting me on my food just this morning. Like, this is what I do. This is what sets me apart. And they going to pretty much tell her in so many words, listen. Your family. Is not my target audience. Yeah. Uh, it's like... I was like, first of all, 
Why in the hell? Why would you even say that? Would y'all even try to work with? I knew you was doing um, Aunt Vivian a, a, a favor of getting her, but you knew what she produced. Mm -hmm. But but they're but that's what they but yeah you still changing to get a get an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. So she was pissed, and so she should end up getting on social media, telling her followers that, oh, um, would you take a high profile job if it made you if, change? If it made you change. <laughs> some people was like, yeah. yeah. Or, or what you said, what would you give up for a high profile for job? Pro and some people was like, my boo, my boo, my kids. Like, <laughs> like, what God? But we do. That's real we talk. Do. That we will trade our soul and our freedom and our life. To get a high paying check. But we were talking about that while we were laying in bed this day, um, today. And we was talking about being on our jobs as long as we had been. 23 years, 17 years. And it was like the last five years, probably more than that. We absolutely hated everything about the job. Right. But we were <laughs> trading our time for dollars. I'm not saying high profile dollars. Yeah. But it was good dollars. Right. So it's nothing different. It's, I mean, nothing is different under the sun. So, right. Yeah. So then when she went ahead and did that, and she was like, oh, pretty much in a politically correct way, she said, F you. Yeah. Her mama is now pissed. Rightfully so, but I see both points. Yeah. That her mom was like, listen, I pulled strings with my soror to get you this interview, to get you this opportunity, and then you give them a big F you, you. and we're trying to get you out on your own, making your own money, some kind of paying job. Everything comes with the negotiation and the bending to it. And Hillary was like, so, like you, from being an artist to an art, art history art teacher, teacher, yeah, like that's what you want me to do. Yeah. You want me to bend that way? And I was like, oh, that was. Yeah. You do was, realize you still. Yes, that's right. your mama. <laughs> you talk to your mama. You you do realize that they can put you out. <laughs> Cause I, I just knew, I just knew Austin Vivian was going was going to bust her between her eyes. You yeah. from Philly too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So then Uncle Phil has this interview with Big Boy. I saw I ain't seen Big yeah, Boy. Yeah, I seen minute. him a long, yeah. Just been a minute. And I knew it was gonna go wrong just for the simple fact that we know what Big Boy does in real life. That's almost like if he had yeah. been on the Breakfast Club. We know that this interview is going to take a turn yeah. and going to reveal some of the things that people really wanted to ask. And God. And which they didn't even ask nothing. They just want to know uh, how much your crib costs and how many how many uh, figures is behind your money. But here's the thing, and I'm going to say it because that's what I do. I say stuff. Um, why is it that when we have money or we have a little bit of prestige, mm -hmm. why is it that we always want to challenge that? Yeah. Where did you get your money? How much does your mm -hmm. car cost? Da, da, da. I mean, we do it with pastors. We do it with politicians. Yep. Like, But no one else does it to them. Yeah, it's only for us. Yeah. And they don't do it to them. Yeah. But when it comes to us, but at the same time, would you respect someone that has power that lives next door to you? Because why I got to follow you when you in the same trenches that I'm in? You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, it's a, it's a non-winning argument. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's, it's like, it's damn if you do, it's damn if you don't. That's it. So if you got the money, you still ain't good enough. If you don't have the money, you then why am I listening enough? to you? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if you got just enough money, oh uh, no, nah, I'm gonna need you to ball side. Yeah. You can't win with that. So in this episode, we uh, Will and Carlton was getting ready to go to school, but of course Carlton is still pissed off about the fight. <laughs> of he ended up leaving Will, so Aunt Viv had to end up giving him the lecture truck to go to school. So Will got to school, he go to class, and so he still knew. And wondering like where everybody's at. So he ended up going in the hallway trying to find out where everybody was at. And, and the, and the, the um, hall monitor guy came out there and was like, hey, you ain't supposed to be up here. Where's your hall, Where's your student ID? ID? And Will started having PTSD. What happened to him back on the, on the basketball court when he got arrested. So he took off running. But he ended up taking off running and <laughs> running into the meeting that Carlton was having with, on the, stage. Yeah, with the junior class. And so Carlton took this as an opportunity to take a swing back at Will. So he <laughs> he basically embarrassed Will because he brought up the fact that Will yes, was so transferred from a high school, um, a public in, school, a public school in Philly, 
to Bel Air to a more prestigious school and that Will school didn't have all the programs that their school had. So they need to reach out to a public school in LA that's <laughs> like Will school in <laughs> Philly and help them out since Will had an opportunity to come to our school so they can have the same opportunity. <laughs> and Will is like called to your boy do this. Yeah. It's like, these are my people. These are my people. And they do what I say. It's like, okay. <laughs> I said, knock his little tail out. Yes, please. So we also know that Will really wants to get on the basketball team. In this episode, we can see him talking to um, this new white guy. I can't remember his name that he met yeah. in class um, because he really wants to get on the basketball team. And he goes into the, um, where the coach is, and instantly the coach like, tells him that basically – uh, I don't want you on this team because I saw your highlight reel with the fights here, and I know you are a division. What was it division one? Division. I, I can't me. remember. Yeah, I don't remember no more. In other words, you a great basketball player, but I don't want the don't drama that, that drama. comes along with that. And Will was like, "What do I need to do to prove myself to get on this team?" And he was like, like, "You got to come to trial, just like everybody else." And, and Will was like, "What?" Yeah, and for a person that used to play basketball when you know that you're good. And now you got to start back from where you started from. That's, That's a, a slap in the face, man. Slap in the face. But, Especially after you done got scouted. Now you got to try out. Yeah, but your behavior has did that to you. So can't even be mad. So um, the white guy that, he, that I was just talking about that he met in class that told him, said, man, you know, I'm so glad that you hit Connor because I wanted to hit Connor <laughs> since, uh, since the sixth grade. Since the sixth grade. So this dude tells him, because um, Will was like, man, tell me how I can get on the team. And he told Will... That basically you can't be black on the court. If you make a shot, make don't, shot. don't don't do no show button. Get back down on court and get back on defense. And I, in high school, our coach was like that. We we could it was celebrate like sportsmanship. Yeah, yeah, it was about the sport, but we could do it. He wouldn't he wouldn't not let us play because of it. But if you showboated it and you didn't get back on defense and the team scored, you was glued to the bench, baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> so while you were showboating, you better be good back That's on it. defense. So basically, he's on. Hustle hard yeah. and prove it. Prove that they need you on the team. So, and we saw that Will end up impressing him. But when he impressed him, I thought he was getting ready to talk some more. Skip the Will. Too. But he was but like, here's your jersey. Let's he, go. Yep. So he still ended up letting Will get on the team. And Will goes to the locker room <laughs> after practice. So that he can <laughs> rub it in Carlton's face. Well, he didn't go to rub it in Carlton's no, face. No, but he did. But Carlton was in there Taking and took ice bath. bath, and he ended up rubbing it in Carlton's face. Carlton, Carlton was like, "Why are you here? back here? This is for athletes only." He was like, "Dang!" Dang! Showed him the jersey. So he told Carlton, "Like, I know that you the man right now, but I'm coming. But I'm coming for you, you know, because we remember Will was telling, you know, his telling his friends was like, I and the only way I can make it here." And Bel Air, I got to shine. Out. I got to stand out and shine like I was in Philly. So that's why he, that's what he told Carlton. I'm coming for, for you. you. Your throne. <laughs> I'm coming for that crown. And Carlton was, yup. I said, oh, hell. What's going to happen next? Yeah. Now we get to the part where Will is talking to Lisa and wanting Lisa to clear his name because Carl Carlton is going around telling her. Telling everybody that, that he spazzed out, that Will spazzed out and, 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 hit, and him. hit him, but Will was like, "That's not true. I need you to tell everybody that Carlton came and pushed me in the pool because of you." And she was like, "So uh -uh. I can tell everybody, and everybody will be mad at me, and I'm gonna be the B and be the one that that Push, did that that, that, that made him go backwards a go, little bit." Yeah, I'm gonna be the one fault for that. Cause she was like, "Y'all don't, you don't understand. Like yeah. he is like gospel around here. Yeah. You, these sheep listen to everything, everything that he, he says." says. I was, I was like, like dang, dang. Carlton. <laughs> she, he was like, well, what is it about this Carlton dude that got everybody mesmerized? She was like, he has a way of finessing and he Making has people this, feel special. He has a charisma. He has that charisma about himself yeah. that, like you said, makes everybody, everybody's drawn to him. Yeah. He makes everybody feel special. So, yeah. I was like, oh, Lord, that's it. Yeah. That's it. And so we see them outside and here comes Connor. And shows Will a restraining order that at school he got to be 10 feet away. And in the public he got to be 50. And so here come Carlton was like, 
Uh, everybody is everybody because of Lisa. Everybody's going around saying that and the I'm reason weak. why I pushed you in the pool was because of Lisa. Now they think I'm weak. I want everybody to show everybody I'm not weak. Let's fight right now. And Will was like, you know what? If I win, I lose. If I lose, I lose. And he walked away. And I he said, walked... now you're using <laughs> yes. your brain. Finally. Finally. And you can see that he looks over at Lisa a little bit out of his eye. And Lisa was looking like, yeah, I tried to tell you. I tried to tell you. Tried to tell you. So then this is the part right here that kind of got on my nerves. So you got Vi calling Auntie Viv. And giving her all kinds of hell yeah. talking about stuff. So I sent my boy up there for y'all to give him a good education and keep him safe. Not for your boy to be fighting up on my boy. And <laughs> Auntie Viv was like, first of all, let me go ahead and put it to you like this. Your son handled himself really, really well. Yeah. So don't even come over <laughs> here with my son on your son kind of stuff. And I'm like, bye. But you sent your son over there for them to rescue. Why are you coming at them sideways? And they're going to tell him, say, hey. I know I just came at you sideways and all that, but I little rage, but he gonna have to be there a little long. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna need you to call me with some respect <laughs> if that's what you're about to put in my ear when you call me on my good telephone that I right. pay the bills for. All right, y'all, pause. Full transparency moment. <laughs> our, our microphone decided that it was gonna celebrate um, Taco Tuesday, Margarita Tuesday, 2-22-22 Tuesday, whatever. It just gave up the ghost. So we're going to do this in podcast style real quick. So ending the video off, we saw that Lisa went to confront Carlton, right? And when she went to confront Carlton, it really was about how this whole thing has been playing out, how he needs to cut Will some slack. Mm -hmm. But she notices the white residue in his nose <laughs> like we've been saying coke but xanax is the new coke right, right now you know what i mean so when you hear people say coke most of the time you have to question whether or not they mean zanny that's crushed up they smoke they snorting it adderall all of that we call it coke <laughs> but it's um xanax well she sees it in his nose that he was like basically trying to shrug her off that there's not a problem that he's just doing it for his anxiety. His anxiety he took a yeah. little bump and whatever. <laughs> the problem isn't that you're taking a um, Xanax for anxiety if that's prescribed to you. It's the fact that you are using it like you would do coke. Yeah. <laughs> you at parties and shit doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Snorting and spit. Yeah. Like you, you're not trying to control your anxiety. You getting high as hell. <laughs> yeah. So she was like, "Listen, your 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 boy Connor over there is um uh, is it Connor calling? No, him. Connor." So your boy um, Connor over there is a bad influence on your life and whatnot. Yeah. So that's what we left off with that scene. And then we had we see Will, you know, on cloud ten right now because you know he on the basketball team and everything. So he coming out to school and the hall monitor guy comes and walk up to him and say, "Hey, I need to search your bag." And Will was like, "You gotta search my bag. I ain't got nothing to hide." And so Will proceeds to try to walk off and the dude end up holding him back. And Will was like, you know what? Just go ahead and check my bag. I ain't got nothing to hide. Mm -hmm. And the hall monitor guy goes into the bag and he sees that Will has some Coke. Or, or Zan. Or, or Zan. Or whatever, the <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah. And Will was like, that's not mine. He was like, I have no reason to use that. He was like, I'm an athlete. I have no you reason. You can test me right now. Yeah. But of course, we know that wasn't going to jive. And so that's how the episode went off. So we know that Connor took and put that in Will's book bag to get back at him for what he did to him. But Connor was the one that started all this boost getting in the locker room in the first place. Yeah, and Carlton, although oh, he yeah. got his beef with his cousin, he even knows that this, this was, that was far. just too far. Too that was got, way too goddamn far. Too goddamn far. So, yeah, that's how the episode ended. We're going to catch y'all in episode three, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Two down. Holla. Ooh. Boom.